Yo, what up guys? This is Retronic Ice Cat. You're on the Real News Talk channel. Rate, comment, subscribe. Yep, it's been a while since I've done a video on here. You know, I've been pretty busy over the last few months. I know I've been on my other channel, but um, I haven't really had time to cover real news on this channel. So right now on Christmas Eve, I'm out in the park just strolling around, chilling and shit. There's a topic that I've wanted to talk about for quite some time now. Um, I wanted to wait until there was further details on this subject in the Bill Cosby rape allegation. So basically, as most of you know already, that the allegation started to erupt about a month ago. Um, starting from eight to ten women coming out of the closet saying that how they were raped by this man uh years before and you know they were saying that how they were scared to come forward and they didn't go to the police i mean why would you be scared to report this issue i mean it's not as if he's gonna come back and possibly kill you or rape you again you know what i mean if you were raped during the time that you say you were by Bill Cosby, why didn't you go to the police the following day or something? Or the same month? Or in that very same year? Why wait several years later? Why wait decades later to report this serious issue? Because it makes it more harder for a lot of people to believe whether you were actually raped or not. Because it was so long ago and without the police reports and stuff, it makes it more harder and believable. But if you had reported it during that time period, then it would have been more believable. But because you're now coming out with it, along with several other people, it makes it more harder to believe once again. So without real concrete evidence, Right, they can't charge the man. You know, that's why there hasn't been no arrests. Even though Bill Cosby doesn't have a criminal record, he's spoken out against a lot of things in the media in the past, you know, on black on black crime, Barack Obama and the corruption of society. You know, it makes me wonder whether Bill Cosby is actually being set up by the system and the media. Hence why when he was in an interview, right, um, and basically refused to comment on this whole allegation sort of thing, when they went off air, he told the interviewer not to air this sort of thing because you know how people twist certain things and make it out as if it's this and that when that's not really the case, you know? So in a way, they kind of disrespected Bill Cosby you know what I'm saying? They respect, they disrespected this decision, even though it's their show. But Bill Cosby didn't want certain things to be aired. So I really don't know what to say. I really, really don't know. I know there's two sides to every story, but as the days go by, more women are coming forward saying that they were raped by this man. I mean, the very first time these accusations started to occur was back in 2005 but it wasn't that much of a deal because you know again those women who accused Bill Cosby of rape did not have any police report they didn't go to the police they're just saying it now I don't know if it's to get gain financial gain and damage the man's reputation, I don't know. Because maybe Bill Cosby had worked with them in the past and he promised them something, but he didn't live up to that. So they actually relied on him. You know, they actually trusted him, but he probably let them down. So they found a way, they, well, they're trying to find a way to get him back by draining them out because Bill Cosby is worth billions. He's like America's dad. 
the guy that started both the Bill Cosby show in the early 70s and the Cosby show in the 80s. You know, Fat Albert. I mean, stand-up comedian and whatnot. This guy's a legend. He's paved the way for so many comedians. You know what I'm saying? So I could see why these women would want to pin these accusations on Bill Cosby about how they were raped just to get money off him and damage his reputation in revenge. Because, again, they may have been promised something, but Bill Cosby didn't live up to it. So they're just trying to find a way to get him back. Or they could even be paid to come out with all of this in the present time of 2014. Because the ones who reported these, these allegations first in 2005 are coming out again. Because all, how, how many women? Well, almost 30 women have come out with the similar sort of accusations. You know, they all sound similar. They all saying, oh, Bill Cosby was in the room with me and then afterwards he promised me something and we was in the bedroom and uh, he must have gave me something to drink and then afterwards I started fading out and then I passed out and then next thing you know Bill Cosby was on top of me and he started to take my clothes off and try to rape me. I'm not taking the piss but this is how all these women sound you know when they're uh, getting these allegations out there they all sound similar you know what I mean they all sound the same they're saying oh Bill Cosby drugged them up or uh, raped them and shit like that I mean it's pretty confusing to say the least because Bill Cosby has not uh, commented on this matter at all maybe his lawyer told Bill Cosby not to say too much but at the same time that does not make Bill Cosby innocent because at the end of the day realistically nobody is innocent we are all we have all done something that we feel guilty about in our lifetime you know what I'm saying nobody is a saint there's no such thing as a human saint because we've all done Shady shit You know what I mean Because we are destined to do that type of shit We are made to make mistakes We are made to actually fuck up That's how the human system is in society So I will not say Bill Cosby is innocent Yes I'm sure he's had sex with some of the women That have accused him of rape in the past But Again, what do we know? We don't know whether it's true or not. They could just be making this all whole thing up because 26, 7 other women have now come up to gang up on him and say the same shit. Except for different years, you know. Like, there's one woman say that how she was raped by Bill Cosby in 1965. And another saying that she was raped by Bill Cosby in 1969, 1974, 1976, 1982, 1986, so, 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 and so on and so on and so on. And Janice Dickerson, <laughs> Janice Dickerson, she actually was interviewed back in September of 2002 saying that how Bill Cosby wanted to sleep with her, but she turned him down. And whatnot. She didn't mention anything of rape back back then. Right up until 12 years later, she came out. She's coming out saying that how she was raped. You know, she's actually crying. You know, she could be, I don't know. For all we know, she could be putting on an act. You know, because she's an actress at the end of the day. Because they can make themselves cry. You know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't surprise me if she was actually paid to come up with this bullshit. Because why would she say... Why would she say this now? Is it because six, seven other women came out of the closet to say that they were raped? So she feels the need to say the same shit 
That's fucking bullshit. Don't you think that's a bit, a bit fucking fishy? It's very, very questionable and it raises a lot of eyebrows whether these type of women are telling the truth or not. You know what I mean? There's no evidence. There's no concrete evidence to say that Bill Cosby raped these women. None at all. Now, there's no police report because if it was true, there would have been some sort of police report. There would have been, there would have been some sort of evidence regardless of how long ago it was. You know what I mean? It's just really, really fucked up. I don't know if they're, like I said before, I don't know if they're trying to damage the man's reputation because funny enough, he was set to make a, a sitcom comeback. He was set to make a comeback. But that's all been thrown out the window because of all these allegations. Right about the time he was about to make his comeback, these allegations pop up. See, they knew. They picked their target. They picked their time to actually fuck up this man. Or at least trying to fuck up this man. His comedy shows are now cancelled. You know, he, he can't really do much. And the man is 77 years old. You know, I don't understand. Why didn't they come out with this years ago at the time? If they came out with it back then, during the 70s, 80s, 90s, it would make them more believable. People would believe them a lot more. People would take them more seriously. But because they've, they're all coming out with this at the same time, it's making it more questionable. Because at the end of the day, you can't just believe one side because they're so, just because you're hearing so, so many women accusing one man of the same shit, it does not make them believable. There's two sides to every single story out there. You can't just take one side and not believe the other because we don't really know the full fact. There's no evidence. There's no nothing. All we're hearing is just mouth. We're just hearing people's words. We're not actually seeing proof that these women were raped because again there's no police report nothing nothing's been reported at all i know some people like to keep things in until you know they explode and just come out with it or if somebody else has been in a similar situation as them or targeted by the same person they will feel more comfortable coming out with it it could be that i don't know but 20 to 30 people coming out with this shit I really don't know what to speculate at this point because I don't know I don't. I really don't know what to say I really really don't know what to say at this point but at the end of the day you know if Bill Cosby did rape those women then it would really be a huge, a huge shame. You know, he would definitely lose a lot of respect from people. He definitely would. If he, he, he did rape those women. If not, then those women are just gold digging bitches. No offense. If they are lying, that is. They are just irrelevant women that just want to you know, be on the spotlight again and rinse the next man's money over making up bullshit. Because this is a serious allegation not to be fucked with. You can't fuck with allegations like this because you don't know what it could do to the next person. You know what I'm saying? Coming out with this now, it's going to be a lot harder to trace whether this shit is true or not. You know what I'm saying? There's two sides to this, so... Me personally, I can't say he did or he didn't do it because we will never know the answer to that until there is solid concrete proof or if there's hidden proof. So let me know your views on this situation because I just don't know what to believe anymore. So this is the Real News Talk channel. Rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at RetronicIceCat. And subscribe to my other channel, Mr. Ice Cat, as well, where I also do a little bit of reviews and uh, celebrity news and music and shit. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more 
videos on the real news token covering more world news you know throughout 2015 i know i haven't really done much on here this year um i've been on the real news talk channel for about almost a year now but 2015 i'm going to be covering a lot more than i have this year so until next time merry christmas to you and your family and have a happy new year bless